I'm a high school student. Yuto Tanaka is a dull, shady guy. I don't have many friends and no girlfriend since I was born. I have no school activities, so after school, I spend my spare time working part-time at a fast food restaurant. I worked hard all day today. Oh shit, I forgot my wallet in the locker at my part-time job. I have to go back to get it. When he went back to the workplace to get his wallet, he heard some conversation from the break room. I'm so exhausted today. The amount of work is definitely not matched by the hourly rage. We are being exploited, no doubt. It's true. This work is really hard. We should get 500 trillion yen. Oh, that's Takasaka-san and Toen-san. They're still there. These girls, Takasaka Maki and Toen Momoka, are my part-time colleagues. We went to the same high school and in the same class. Unlike me, all the way in the shadows. They're the girls at the center of the class. We are worlds apart. When I tried to sneak away without them noticing... By the way, we had the same shift with Tanaka today. We are always together. Or is there something made up all this? I heard my name and it made me stop. Hey, listen. Tanaka really get nervous when he talks to me. I can see that he is obviously aware of me. He is not used to with girls, definitely. <laughs> I know. It's the same when he talks to me. He is so frightened. They know I've been nervous? Hey, I have a good idea. How about we do rock, paper, scissors and the one who loses have to confess to Tanaka? His reaction must be hilarious. <laughs> Sounds fun. I'm in. I've just been boring these days, so... Mm, what if we confess and he says yes? Mm, it will be boring if we spoil it so quickly, so why not to have date with him for a while? At least for a month. How about that? Alright, I'm good. It's getting interesting. Yes, I made a natural way to date with Tanaka. Actually, I've liked Tanaka for a long time. He is so kind and always support me with my work. More than anything, I'm a carnivore girl. My ideal type is the guy like an introvert. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of interested in Tanaka. Actually, he is very manly. He helped me when I had trouble with customer. I can't tell this to Maki, but I really want to date him by using this chance. Alright, let's get started. I will let you lose for sure. Too bad, I'm going to win for sure. Oh no, I really want to date with Tanaka. Please lose, lose, lose. I want to lose, lose, lose. The other day during school lunchtime, I was called to the back of the school building. After waiting for a while, I heard someone talk to me from behind. Hey, Tanaka, thanks for waiting. It was Takasaka-san that appeared in front of me. Sorry for calling you suddenly. It's okay. What's the matter? Did you thought I want to ask you to change my shift like always? It's not like that. Actually, I like you. You were very kind and always helped me when I had a hard time at work. That's why I become interested in you. Would you be my boyfriend even for a trial? It must be the first time for you to have a girl confess her love to you, right? You have no choice that such a pretty girl like me asked you to be your girlfriend. Come on, tell me your answer. Sorry. What? I really appreciate your feelings, but I don't feel like dating you. I've never seen you like that before. Sorry. This is not my real reason. She's just playing a game and making fun of me. I know, I'm gonna be a fool if I say yes. Uh, uh I see. Alright, alright, then let's continue to be good colleague. Um... Wait, something's not looking right. She got shocked. Dumped by an introvert guy like me? Oh no, he dumped you. I can't believe an introvert guy dared to dump me. Wait, are you shocked? Do you actually like him? No, that's impossible. He's not my type. Hmm? I can tell Maki likes Tanaka by that reaction. That makes me want to date with Tanaka more. People's things look so good. Conversely wanted. Maybe I should go get close to him sneakily. If I said yes, then I could be on a date with Takasaka-san for at least a month. Takasaka-san is so pretty and I really like her. Did I make a foolish decision? Tanaka-kun? Oh, Toen-san. We worked so hard today. Thanks for helping me for doing all the heavy jobs. You are so kind it makes me spilled. I heard that you dumped Maki, didn't you? Oh. You don't have girlfriend, right? Why didn't you say yes? Maki is really a nice girl, isn't she? What can I say? Actually, I heard your conversation. The loser of the game of rock, paper, scissors will confess to me as a penalty. 
I knew it and that's why I rejected her. I knew you guys would laugh at me later. Hmm? You knew that? You heard our conversation in the break room. So, it's not that Tanaka-kun doesn't like us, which means we still have a chance. Hey, Tanaka, would you be my boyfriend? What? Toin san I want to be your girlfriend. This must be a punishment game too. No, this is not a game. This is real confession. I've liked you for a long time, Tanaka-kun. That Toen san says she wants to be my girlfriend? She might pretend it's real, but actually is a game. I want to know your answer. Should I say yes to her? Even if it's just fishing? Wait a minute. I was listening to all your conversation. Momoka, did you lie to me? Wow, you were listening to our conversation secretly. You should have tell us. I've never knew you liked Tanaka. Really? I didn't tell you? Never! You were planning to confess to Tanaka-kun by doing a game as an excuse, aren't you? Hey, so that's what you were thinking about. Oh, shit! <laughs> you tell your true intentions finally. You really like Tanaka-kun too. <laughs> But I'm glad that I knew the reason why he dumped me. If it's not a game, you will date me, right? If it's like that, there will be no problem to date with me too, right? Who do you want to date with between us, Tanaka-kun? What? What's happening? Am I dreaming or something? The most popular girl in our class, Takasaka-san and Toen-san, asked me for a date. If I choose one, I might hurt the other. What should I do? Sorry, I can't choose either of you. Can we just start by being friends? Aww, uh, that's not the answer I want, but fine. Then make your decision whether you prefer me or Momoka while in the friendship period. I agree! If you're willing to do so, how about we go for a date on your next day off as soon as possible? I'll show you all my charm points. <laughs> this is getting exciting! Wait a minute, you guys aren't listening to me. I might have other things to do. You don't, because you're not doing any school activities and all you do is part-time job. You know what? I requested to have the same shift with you. I knew it! Actually, the same here. I didn't know that. The battle between two popular girls competing for me has begun. I will make you fall in love with me for sure. Be prepared. No, I'm the one who captures you, Tanaka-kun. Both girls keep on approaching me today as well. I'm Yuto Tanaka a high school student, and a boring introvert. Ew. My seat is next to Tanaka's? Man, we're switching seats and I'm totally out of luck. I wish I was sitting next to somebody more fun. That's too bad. Ah, <sighs> I have no place in a classroom with extroverts. Oh well. My main thing for today hasn't happened yet. To earn some money from my geek activities. Now, I'm going to the interview for a part-time job. I'm Yuto Tanaka, a high school student. Thank you for your time today. I'm Saiko Nijima, a store manager. I'll be in charge of your interview today. Okay? First, tell me why you applied for the job. You don't look like a part-timer at a fast food restaurant like this place. That... that might be true. But the pay was the highest among the shops around here. My goal is to save money, so I had no hesitation at all. I see, I see. Seems like you've got some toughness. You don't even try to hide your desire of wanting money to play around. You seem pretty bold too. Plus, you look a little gloomy, but I can see something shining in you. What? Okay, Yuto Tanaka. I'll offer you the job. But I have one condition. A condition? What is it? When working here, I want you to put your bang up and wear contact lenses. How's that? Oh, that's not a problem. I have contact lenses at home, so I'll be fine. You are honest too. I'm looking forward to working with you. Oh, me too. I'm looking forward to working here. Finally, I'm starting my part-time job today for the first time. Just as the manager told me. I put my hair up in the bathroom at the station. Doesn't it look weird if a person like me looks like this? Well, it's a restaurant, so it's probably better to look neat. Oh, that hair looks nice. Cool, isn't it? I knew I had good eyes. Yes, yes. If you look like this, weren't you popular at school too? Oh no. I set my hair at the station right before I came here. Oh, is that right? You should have done it when you left home. I feel embarrassed. 
If they think I did a makeover or something, they'll probably think I'm full of myself, even though I'm an introvert. Really? I don't think they'll think like that, though. Oh, here, put this on. We're all supposed to put a name tag on with our nicknames at this shop. Uh, am I? Tanapon? That sounds friendly, right? Okay, let's go. I feel a little embarrassed. Thank you for coming today. What would you like to order? Our special is... Tanaka, he's doing a good job for his first day. I only taught him just the basics. He probably had a lot of natural talent to begin with. Tanapon, can I get a picture of you? A picture? Why is that? We upload pictures of part-timers on SNS. Then, it'll work as an advertisement for the shop. Well, I don't mind. It's just a picture. It's not my responsibility if the shop loses its reputation by uploading a picture of me. Oh, that's not going to happen. Say cheese. Let me upload it before I forget. Hmm. I can't wait to see the reaction. And the next day... What? So many customers. Plus, they're all women. Are they having a Ladies' Day discount or something today? Hey, did you see the SNS? I did. It was going viral because there is a good-looking staff here. Oh, that's him. Tanapon. Whoa, he looks so cool in person. Okay, good. Tanapon plan number one is successful. Girls want to go to a shop that's going viral. If there was a good-looking staff there, it'll make them want to go even more. Okay? I'm going to promote him even more. Starting from today, we're having the Tanapon special campaign. If you buy over 1,000 yen, you'll get a smile from Tanapon, and you'll get a chance to take a picture with him for free. R really No way! You never told me that! I'd like two hamburger sets, please! I I want three sets! What? Th thank you so much! Wh whoa! Please don't push. Please! Hey, wasn't Tanapon an introvert? Yeah, he's the one that came to the interview with glasses. How is he able to do a makeover so suddenly? Anyway, we can't just let him dominate. Um, this is a set with everything in it, which just came out recently. Would you like some? Oh, no thank you. Nobody's coming to our register. Dang it! Amazing! This is amazing! Tanaka, you're by far the most popular staff. The sales for today will skyrocket. I might be able to aim for the top shop sales. Phew, I had a tough day yesterday. All the customers came to my register. Hmm? Is it true that there was an idol-like staff? Yeah, it's true. He's super good looking. Whoa, that's impressive. There's a shop staff who is talked about like this. Well, that has nothing to do with me though. I went to the fast food place near the station yesterday. His register was super crowded, so I had to wait 30 minutes. That sounds like me yesterday. That staff must have had a tough time. I feel for him. What is that good-looking staff's name? Well, if I remember correctly, it was Tanapon. I see. It's Tanapon, huh? Oh, wait. What? That's me! I don't know if he's good-looking, but... He's the introvert who's right in front of you. Aww, Tanapon. I wonder what high school he goes to. I should build up the courage to talk to him next time. Good morning. You guys look like you're excited about something. Oh, Chikasa. We were talking about the good-looking staff at the shop close to school. Oh, are you guys talking about Tanapon by any chance? Oh, do you know him too? Of course. I saw the picture on SNS yesterday, and I became a fan of Tanapon. He's so good looking. My heart skips a beat just by looking at him. Man, the most beautiful girl in our grade, Chukasa Hiragi, is even a fan of the good looking shop staff. What kind of guy is he? Tanapon. Ha! I'm sure he just looks cool, but he's not that great of a guy. He must be carried away because everybody is talking about him for his looks. Hey, Takahashi! Don't talk bad about Tanapon. That's right. You haven't even met him. Man, girls are always following the crowd. I wish I was in that good-looking guy's shoes. Don't you think so, Tanaka? Uh, are you just going to ignore me? It's not like I'm ignoring you. We never talked to begin with. I acted friendly to you for once. What kind of attitude is that? 
Well, you must never worry about being popular among girls or anything like that. I wish I was like you. I mean, why don't you try looking cool for once? For example, put your annoying bangs up. Oh no! And you can take off your glasses too. Hey, stop it! Without glasses or contact lenses, I can't see anything. Ha 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 ha. Hey, look at Tanaka, everyone. What? Isn't that... the same as the picture that was going viral on SNS? Can he be... Tanaka was actually Tanabon? Uh, Hiragi! Yeah, well, um, I don't know what to say, but I am. Wow, great. I never imagined he was this close. I was planning on going to Tanapon's shop after school today. Oh, if that's the case, please come. I don't feel as nervous if somebody I know is there. They're having a special and I can take a picture with Tanapon, right? Did you know that? I'm so surprised. I didn't think Tanapon was actually Tanaka. You look good with your bangs up. Th thank you. You look cute when you're embarrassed. I mean, who do you think you are, Takahashi? You called Tanapon an introvert. You're horrible. N no I just... Don't make excuses. Damn it. Don't underestimate me. I always tease other people, so I'm not good at defending myself. Oh. He's gone. It's okay. Don't worry about Takahashi. He's been teasing people in a rude way recently, and he'll probably be quiet now. Um, it's been a month since Tanaka started working here. Finally, our shop receives the top sales. Congratulations. I heard you had a commanding lead. It's thanks to you, Tanaka. Thank you so much. Okay, sit down right here. Let me give you a shoulder massage. Or would you like something to drink? You don't have to try to be polite. She's flattering me all of a sudden. If you do such a thing, I feel hesitant. I hope we can keep working hard together in the future. Oh, Tanaka, you must have had a tough day. Hiragi, were you waiting for me? Yes, I thought it's about time you get done with your part-time job. Can we go home together if you don't mind? You've been coming to our shop recently. <laughs> You said you feel more comfortable when somebody you know comes. You remember that? I'm so glad. Thank you. Actually, I feel relieved when you come. You don't have to thank me. I just want to see Tanapon. I mean, Tanaka working there. Hiragi. But, well, it'll be nice to have time like this when we can spend time with just the two of us. If you'd like, can we go somewhere together? Yes, I'd love to! My time with Hiragi has just started. I'm a working adult. Yuto Tanaka is a single working man. I don't have a girlfriend, and I'm too busy to go out and meet people. I'm in my late 20s, and my friends from school are getting married one by one, and I'm starting to get panicked. One day, during lunch break at work... Tanaka-senpai, let's go to eat lunch! You live alone anyway, and you didn't bring your own lunch, did you? A female employee talked to me. Her name is Sakura Mizuse, and she's my junior in the company. I don't mind, but don't emphasize that I'm living alone. Because it's true, isn't it? Well, you're a single person living alone without a girlfriend. <laughs> There's no sign that you'll ever have one. You're... Didn't you learn in school not to pour salt into people's wounds? Senpai, you always eat out, don't you? So I'll make a bento for you next time. It's only 1,500 yen at a time. That's too expensive. I'd be better off eating out then. Huh, I thought it would be a good way to earn some extra money. Mizuse used to tease me like this. She's my junior, but she doesn't have a shred of respect for me. Well, that Mizuse, she's definitely making light of me. Tanaka-kun, what's with that sigh? Oh, it's Reika. No, I was a little troubled. I've been thinking that I've been made light too much by my junior. I see. So that's Sakura. That's right. She's messing with me not having a girlfriend. She treats me like I'm a monster. A single man living alone so she can release her stress. Hmm. I don't think that's true for me. When you were a student, did anyone ever tell you that you were ignorant of the female mind? I've never been told that. I didn't have any female friends to begin with. I went to an all-boys school and was surrounded by guys, so no one really cared about women's feelings. Oh yeah, I think it makes sense somehow. In that case, I have an idea. How about if we prank Sakura that Tanaka-kun is getting married? If she's been messing with you for being single, maybe you can outwit her. Oh, that sounds interesting. But I'm afraid the prank will be exposed if I'm questioned. 
Then we can pretend that you married me. It'll be more believable if we can make sure our stories agree. What? You're marrying me, Reika? Are you sure about that? Yes. If you tell everyone in the company about it beforehand, it'll prevent rumors from starting. I'll make an extra effort for that if I can see something interesting. But that was unexpected. You like pranks, don't you, Reika? I thought you'd be more square. No matter how old you get, you should never forget to be playful, right? Besides, if we prank her, we can find out Sakura's true intentions. Hmm? What do you mean? I've gotten Reika's help, and I'm going to set up a prank for Mizuse. Senpai! Would you like to have dinner with me after work today? If you go home, you'll just eat alone again. So why don't we? No, I'm sorry, but I can't accept your invitation. Actually, I've been hiding it from you. I'm getting married. What? You're getting married? Marriage, you mean? Like bridal ceremony? Yes, that's right. It's the kind where a man and a woman pledge their internal love in front of a priest. We've been going out for a while, but we're getting registered soon. I'm sorry I've kept it a secret. No, no, no. It can't be true, can it? You know what? You're lying to me because I've been messing with you about you being single, aren't you? Hey, you cared so much? No, what Tanaka-kun is saying is true. Reika, what do you mean? Tanaka-kun is gonna get married. And it's going to be to me. What? We've been nurturing our love in secret. You didn't seem to notice, but most people in the company did. W well congratulations! Senpai, aren't you happy? I'm glad you got married. Reika's a dependable person, and now you must be relieved. Uh, yeah. I wonder what's going on. Is it just my guess, or does she look really upset? <sighs> Now that the announcement is done, we can treat each other without hesitation. Nanako-kun, let's work hand-in-hand hand as boss and subordinate at work, and as wife and husband at home. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I... I think I'm interrupting you, so I'll leave you alone. <laughs> it looks like she took me seriously. It was a very convincing performance, wasn't it? You're not a very nice person, are you, Reika? I'm sure Mizuse is quite shocked. That's true. When she gets home, she'll be soaking her pillow with tears. I'm sure. I knew it was just as I thought. No, she may have been surprised, but there's no reason to be shocked. I'm sure Mizuse has nothing against me. Well, that is why Tanaka is such a jerk. Is he pretending to be the protagonist of a romantic comedy? I feel sorry for Mizuse too. I don't know why I got so much flack. The next day, when I came to work, Mizuse was gloomy. Oh, senpai? Good morning. What's wrong with you? You don't look well. Nothing. I just couldn't sleep for a while. Mizuse was dispirited for a long time after that. See, it's just like I said. I guess she had a rough day yesterday. Hey, Reika, if you don't tell her the truth soon, she might quit the company. Yeah, she's the mood maker. And if she's like that, it'll affect our work. Let's see what the answer is, shall we? What? The fact about you and Senpai getting married was a prank? I'm sorry for lying to you. I didn't expect you to be so upset, Sakura. No, I'm not upset. The reason I couldn't sleep is because I played too many games last night. But you're right. I don't think Senpai can get married. All those words aside, I'm sorry for the prank. I'll buy you dinner as an apology. Just think about it before the end of the day. Well, I don't have a choice. I got you. Let's call it a day. In exchange, I'll come up with something extremely expensive. Please be as gentle as possible. And after the work is done, by the way, Mizuse, have you decided what we're going to eat? Yes, I've decided. Let's go to Senpai's house. Okay, okay. At my house? What? Senpai is a liar. I still don't trust you. I have to find out in person if you're really married or not. No, no, no. I mean, what are you going to do about food? I'll make it for you at your house. What? Or what? Is there a reason you don't want me to go to your home? No, it's fine, but I'm living alone and it's not clean. I ended up inviting Mizuse to my house. Wow, Senpai's room is a mess. It looks like the room of a man who lives alone. You're definitely living alone. Why do you look so happy? People would normally be put off. Oh, this is delicious. I didn't know Mizuse could cook. I didn't expect that. You're rude. I'm good at housework, even though I look like this. You underestimate me, Senpai. I'm very feminine. Well, but I'm glad that the fact about Senpai getting married to Reika was a prank. I was so shocked and depressed that night. Hey, what's wrong? Suddenly you're talking out of character. Oh, wow. Before I knew it, you were drinking a huge amount of cans. You're totally drunk. Senpai is so insensitive that you don't seem to notice. The reason I was teasing you was because I wanted your attention, okay? I didn't know that. I thought it was because you were making fun of me. Uh, I didn't notice that at all. You really don't understand women's minds at all, do you, Senpai? In this case, I'll give you a rough and ready treatment. 
please go out with me and learn a lot? What? Mizuse, are you serious? Are you trying to give me a prank back? I'm serious. Of course it's serious. Or can't you see me as a girl? She becomes very forward when she drinks. No, I think Mizuse is a cute junior. Cute? Did you just say cute? Shit. Wasn't it forbidden to say cute to someone who wants to be seen as a woman? <laughs> Senpai, please say it again. Please tell me I'm cute. Ah, is she happy? I'm glad then. Hi, Tanaka-kun. Oh, what's wrong with your bento? Oh no, it's... Actually, Mizuse made it for me. She said she was worried about the nutritional balance since I eat out every day. Hmm, it looks like you guys have finally made some progress. Well, yeah. After we started to go out, she comes to my room once in a while to clean and cook for me. You've made a lot of progress compared to before. It seems the prank was effective. Yes, it was. Thanks to that, I was able to realize Mizuse's true feelings. Thank you again, Reika. <laughs> It was fun for me too. It's a shame though. If the two of you hadn't gotten together, I would have been happy to marry you. What? Yuta Senpai, what is that scruffy face? Do you have a thing for Reika by any chance? No, this is a. It's not! Hmm, it seems I've offended her. Sometime later, we decided to announce our marriage to everyone in the company. This time, no one suspected it was a prank. I'm Yuto Tanaka, a high schooler. I have a sister who I'm not blood related to. My sister, who's a year younger than me, Shizuku Tanaka, is good at both academics and athletics and is pretty. If you ask the guys at school who's a cute girl at school, most of them would say her name. When she's walking in town, she gets scouted from model and talent agencies all the time. She doesn't seem to be interested though and has said no to all offers. Shizuka's looking cute today as usual. I can't become close to her though because I'm such an introvert. You're an introvert too, but you're siblings, so I bet you can talk to her for as much as you want under one roof. I'm so jealous, I want Shizuka to call me brother too. She doesn't call me that. I barely talk to her at home in the first place. What? Then she doesn't say, brother, I can't sleep when lightning falls at midnight and go into your blanket? <laughs> she doesn't. You're fantasizing siblings too much. After school, I spoke to Shizuku. Hey, Shizuku. Dad and mom's going to be late tonight, so they said to go ahead and eat dinner. Okay. I don't have plans today, so should I make food? I don't think we need to eat together. We can each buy what we want and eat as we want. That's true. You're right. Then let's eat separately today. Yeah. She rejected me so fast. I get that she doesn't want to be with just me when the parents are gone, but I didn't think she would avoid me this much. She probably really doesn't like me. That's kind of sad. Uh, my reflex said no, but I actually wanted to eat with him. When it's just us two, I don't really know what to talk about, and I'm worried that he'd hear my heart thumping. Brother looked so good today, too. He's intelligent, cool, and has that bit of darkness to him, and it's great. I can't believe I get to live with him at the same home. Yes, I liked my brother, Yuto Tanaka. During middle school, I liked books, so I was going to the library. I met Yuto then. There was a darkness to his side profile as he sat and read, and I couldn't help but look at him. By the time I noticed, I was going to the library to see Yuto. After that, I was so surprised when I found out that my new dad's son was Yuto. We're living together, but I get so nervous and can't talk at all. Even if Yuto does say something to me, I get nervous and can't say back the right thing. It's like I'm acting cold towards him, so I'm worried that he thinks I hate him. Hey, Yuto, you heading back now? Hey, Akari, yeah. Let's go back then. Her name was Akari Asaoka. She's a childhood friend. We've known each other since we we're babies and can tell each other anything. It's after school, but you have no plans? If you're a healthy high schooler, wouldn't you go on dates and stuff? That's if I have a girlfriend, did you know? Guys can go on dates alone. What about you, Akari? Don't you have a boyfriend? No, I don't, unfortunately. That's surprising. You're close with the guys in class. They probably just think of me as a friend. I only think of them as friends too, but all my friends are getting boyfriends. So hearing them talk about that makes me a bit jealous. Hey, Yuto. Since we both don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend, how about we go out? What? I don't dislike you and you don't dislike me either, right? Well, yeah. I think we'll get along pretty well. We can level up from our childhood friend's relationship, you know? Why don't you think about it? I didn't think Akari would ask me out. But do people usually become boyfriend and girlfriend this lightly and easily? Reading manga makes it seem much more dramatic. 
You told you have a girlfriend? What? There's no way Yuto has a girlfriend. I bet he hasn't been even confessed to before. I don't want him to have a girlfriend, so I ended up saying something mean. But he doesn't have a girlfriend, right? And he also hasn't been confessed to either, right? I've been confessed to before. Today, Akari asked me out. Wow, that's great. I'll feel at ease if it's Akari. What? You got confessed to before and that was today? What? Shizuku, are you good with your food already? Yeah, thanks for the meal. I'm not feeling well, so I'll be back in my room. Okay, let's do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets Shizuku leftover hamburger. Mom, you're acting like it's school lunch at elementary school. I didn't think you to get confessed to by Akari. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? At this rate, they're going to become couple. And then Yuta's going to bring Akari home. And then I'll have to hear them cuddling and talking from his room. Good morning, Yuta. Let's go to school together. Yeah. Did you think about what I said yesterday about dating me? Please wait. You're not the only one who likes Yuto, Akari. I'd also like to volunteer to be Yuto's girlfriend. Uh, Shizuku, what happened suddenly? Weren't you avoiding me? I was avoiding you because I liked you, and I got nervous and couldn't speak properly. But after hearing that Akari confessed to you, I thought I couldn't be caring about that anymore. I like you, Yuto. I want us to get married with the intention of dating. I wasn't expecting this at all, so my comparison isn't keeping up. Your emotions are also getting ahead, and you said marriage before. I'm grateful for you thinking that, but we're siblings. We're not blood-related though, so we're good. I think dad and mom would congratulate us too. If they are against it, we can leave the house and elope. I already have that determination. Her feelings were much more serious than I thought. I can't do this alone. Akari, say something too, will you? A love triangle. That sounds so youthful and nice. It's starting to get fun. Why are you getting into this? I'm just saying, but my feelings for Yuto are much bigger than yours. I also like Yuto. I've known him for 17 years as a childhood friend, so I see that more as an advantage. No! Our one year together was very special and rich! Well, I don't think we really talk, though. Then, let's determine this match with Sumo. Whoever wins can date Yuto. You guys are determining this like you're comedians on a TV show! Sounds good. I'll show you how strong my feelings are. Why is Shizuku down for this too? Then they started the match of sumo. I was to be the referee. They were fighting for a while, but both were tenacious and the final blow wouldn't be made. Mm, you're not bad, Shizuku. I feel how strongly you feel for Yuto. Uh, you too, Akari. You're not easy to defeat. What am I watching? Okay then, let's have a match on who got Yuto's heart first. Sure thing, I know it'll be me. Then what was the point of doing sumo just now? Still can't believe we're in this situation. After that, both of them would actively approach me. Yuto, let's go to the karaoke today after school. No, I think Yuto should go to the cafe with me. Which should I choose? Hey, she's good, don't make Yuto troubled. If you think so, why don't you step back? I don't want to. Oh, then how about we hang out as trio? We can go to the karaoke together and then go to the cafe after that. Not bad as a compromise. I'm confused at how my opinion is disregarded, but as long as... Once we hang out, Akari and Shizuku seem to get along well. They completely got each other. Akari, you get what I'm saying? You too, Shizuku. I might have misunderstood you. Let's go out the three of us again. Tanaka, I'm so jealous of you. I thought we were the same introvert, but you're being approached. Which are you going to choose? About that, I'm actually not going to choose, huh? I'll marry Yuto, and we can all live together. Yuto, Shizuku, and me. That way, we can stay together forever. That's not a bad idea. Apparently, that's the plan. What the heck? I'm so envious! I was able to bring out my courage because you confessed to Yuto. And I was able to become good friends with Akari too. I think I'll be the happiest if our current relationship continues forever. I'm also happy that we got along, Shizuku, although I sometimes think that we're too close. After that, our relationship continued. Even as time passed, the three of us were together. Because the three of us all liked each other. Society may judge us, but we're happy. I'm Yuto Tanaka, a company employee. 
I work as a salesperson at a real estate company. It's been a few years since I started working, but I barely meet a quota all the time. I'm a company employee at the bottom of the company hierarchy. I know I have to try hard, but there's a reason why I can't improve in my sales numbers. This property is spacious and has many rooms, so it'll be very comfortable to live in. The only thing is, there's a lot of traffic, so it's a little noisy. You might not like that point. Oh really? The brochure didn't mention anything like that. Then I'm not gonna sign a contract. Man, I did it again. That's right. This is my critical weakness as a salesperson. I honestly talk about the bad things about the properties. I can't help but think that it's inappropriate to sell the property without providing customers with negative information. Because my sales performance never improves, my boss doesn't like me. Tanaka, you haven't sold anything in a month again. I bet you sold the customer unnecessary information again. Uh, I'm sorry. You're just foolishly honest. You're supposed to talk about the positive things about our product, with some exaggeration. Yes, I understand, but then I feel bad for the customers. Okay, I get you. That's fine. You can quickly leave and go make your outside sales rounds. Ugh, my boss is giving me that look again. I need to make some improvements soon, otherwise... I haven't been able to make appointments that much this month, and I'm not even close to meeting a quota. Honestly... I could get fired if I don't improve. To make the situation worse, since I'm seen as incompetent, they put me in charge of areas that are hard to make sales. It's quite difficult to recover from here, to be honest. Whining won't help me at all. At the very least, I need to be positive and work hard. While I was out on my outside sales rounds, the incident happened. Wow, that car is speeding pretty fast. Oh wait, watch out! Felix! I narrowly saved the girl who was about to get hit by a car. Ouch, are you okay? Are you injured? No, but you saved me, right? Thank you. I'm glad you're safe. Not all cars stop for you, so you need to be careful when crossing the road. Yes! Then I gotta go now. But what is it? For some reason, she's grabbing the hem of my suit. I haven't thanked you yet. I know, I'll buy you juice at the park over there. Here you go. Uh, th thank you. She really treated me. I could tell it was her best effort to thank me, and I felt warm in my heart. My name is Tomoka Shindo. What about you? I'm Yuto Tanaka. I'm just a company employee. You're so polite. That's so weird. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I mean, if I keep going like this, I probably won't make any sales today again. What's wrong with you? You're sighing. What? Did I sigh? Yes, you were like, man, is there something bad going on? Are you okay? As Tomoka said so, she looked into my face worried. After I sighed in front of her, if I said nothing, it'll only sound fake. Well, my story might sound boring to you, but I do this job called sales. I haven't done a good job for a long time, so people don't like me at my work, and my boss yells at me every day. I carefully chose my words so she can understand and told her my story. Hmm, I'm not sure about your work, but I can tell you you're working hard in a difficult situation every day. You're amazing! What? I'm working hard? It's the first time somebody told me something like that. You're great! Good boy, good boy! Wow, wait! Such a little girl is comforting me. I should feel ashamed, but for some reason, I feel relaxed at heart. Ah, uh, Tomoka, there you are! Oh, who's that? Uh, are you Tomoka's mother, by any chance? I'm sorry, I'm gonna get away from your daughter immediately. That's okay, just stay right there. It's rare that Tomoka opens up to an adult other than me. I was telling him he was a good boy. Now that she says it again, I feel really embarrassed. I told her mother everything that happened. Ah, I see what was going on. Thank you so much for saving my daughter. Since I'm raising her on my own, it's hard to always keep an eye on her. Don't worry, it's only natural for me to protect a little girl like her. You thought saved my life! <laughs> if such a person is feeling down, you sure need to comfort him. Uh, I feel embarrassed. You're in the middle of doing rounds for outside sales, right? Thank you for being with my daughter. You too, Tanaka. You're such an honest person. Honest, did you say? Yes, because you take her seriously even though she's only an elementary school student. That's why Tomoka got attached to you. Because of me, 
Most adults around her tried to butter her up. So she was attracted by how pure you were. I wonder what she means by adults who try to butter her up. As I was thinking something like that, her mother gave me her business card. I'm Serena Shindo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait. That name. It sounds familiar if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I remember now. Serena Shindo is the president of the company that our company does business with. Originally, she was famous as an elite salesperson within the industry. She also drew attention because she established her own company and made it hugely successful in a very short time. Tomoka is the daughter of that Miss Serena. I can now understand why adults around her would butter her up. I mean, I'm sorry for hanging around the daughter of a legendary salesperson. Oh, you know about how I was in the past. Of course, every salesperson admires you. Oh, I feel even more embarrassed because now you know how incompetent I am. Everybody goes through a pace when he's not doing well. What's important is how you bring yourself up from there. Oh, I know. To return the favor of you looking after Tomoka, I'll evaluate your sales technique for you. Give me the presentation on the property that you have right now. Give a presentation right here? That's right. If I like it, I can sign the contract. It was so sudden, so I was a little panicky, but I did my sales presentation to Miss Serena. So, this property is our company's exclusive product. It's only two minutes on foot from the station and the transportation access is great. I think you'll be very happy with this place. However, you might not get much sunlight, so some people might be bothered by that. Oh, you say the disadvantages as well. I yes, I think it's unfair to keep that secret. I guess this is unacceptable for a salesperson. Normally, yes. But I think it's quite interesting. Hmm, okay. If you have such a personality and you feel uncomfortable at your current company, if you'd like, why don't you come over to my company? What? I was looking for an employee just like you. A salesperson who is sincere and honest towards customer. Miss Serena. I think you have talent, so I will train you. No way. I never thought that... I would be scouted like this. She praised me for the personality which I've always thought of as a weakness. I strongly felt that I wanted to work for Miss Serena. Thank you so much for the offer and I'd like to take it. I quit the company I was working for and went to Miss Serena's company. I will be giving you direct advice and lectures starting today. All of her products are very easy to recommend to customers. Wow, these are all great properties. Telling people the weak points clearly is not wrong at all. As long as you get creative with the way you say it. C creative Right. Don't treat it just as a disadvantage, but connect it to the advantages of the property. I received Miss Serena's training for a whole month, and now it was finally time to see how much I've improved with a real customer. There are a lot of rooms with this property, but for property management, that is a plus. I believe this is the best for your lifestyle. Mm, yes, you are right. I like it. I want to sign a contract for this property. R really? Thank you so much. Yes, I did it, Miss Serena. As I was becoming successful as work, I also began to meet Tomoka a lot as well. I think it's also because I see Miss Serena a lot too. So your job is going well. That's great. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Yuto, for always watching my daughter. Okay, Tomoka, let's go. What? I want to play more with Yuto. I'm really glad that she's becoming very close to me. Oh, I know, Yuto. You should be my father. Then we can go home together and we can still be together. But, father? I was a little caught off guard by Tomoka's innocent idea. If you say that, Miss Serena will be troubled. What? I'm perfectly fine with that. Actually, I think it's a great idea. W what? For me, you are someone that I'm always interested in, at work and privately as well. Uh, I guess she is being serious. Now that she told me how she felt, I was very excited. <laughs> I just hope it's not too much trouble for you. T trouble? Of course not. In fact, I'm so happy that I'm walking on clouds right now. Hey, Yuto, you're turning red. Okay, let's talk about the rest at my place. Let's go. If you don't mind my home cooking, I'll serve you dinner. Let's go, Yuta! I'm sure the future for the three of us will be quite bright. Okay, let me sing one more song. Wow! All the tickets are sold out again. You're a top-notch idol now, Manami. 
I guess I'll check her schedule after this. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm a producer at an entertainment agency. I'm currently watching Manami Aizawa, whom I'm managing, give a live concert at the Budokan. It's been three years since I started managing her. We just worked tirelessly in sales and lessons, and as a result, this is where we are today. In the future, she'll show up on different media like TV shows, and we're going to make her even more famous. Ugh, I'm so tired! Cheers! Good job, Manami! With that attendance, your first Budokan concert was a great success, but... But, don't be arrogant but work in good faith, right? I know! I've trusted those words in you all the way. Thank you so much, Yuto. I entered a training school against my parents' will, but I struggled to find success, but you helped me then. <laughs> you were horrible at first, but I know you were working hard, so I trusted your sincere effort. <laughs> I hope we can work together in the future. I hope we'll be busy starting tomorrow. <laughs> I'll get you a lot of job opportunities. After that, Bonami became very active, and she got so popular that her name was on different TV, radio, and even on the internet every day. She has good communication skills, so she worked well everywhere. She became more and more popular and she was on TV pretty much every day. In the midst of such busy days, the president called me out to talk about something. Hello, what did you need to talk about me, sir? Oh yeah, it seems like Aizawa is doing great. Yes, it's not too much to say that she's been on a roll since that live concert. What about it? Yeah, I'm thinking about changing her producer. Huh? What do you mean? I've been in charge of her management for a long time. Even if you're gonna change me with somebody else, you should wait until she gets used to her work a little more. You should know that now is the time when she will start to get tired mentally. Oh no. It took her a long time to become popular, so she should be okay. Or you can't trust the idol you raised up. That's not true, but who's gonna take over me? I'd like to let my son Yuji take your position. Yuji? That punk? No, he complained that Manami wasn't getting popular, and he told me that to take care of Manami instead of him. But she's popular now, so he says I don't mind being her manager. I don't understand. It was the same for Saori Shinjo, but a producer is supposed to work hard until she becomes popular. Can't accept it if he's going to just come in and get all the credit while not doing any of the hard work. Tanaka, you're an employee of this company. I'm the president. Are you going to object to my decision? That's a whole different story. I just said it's too soon to change your manager. But even if you say so... Dad, I told you that you don't need to listen to his opinions. Hey, Yuto, make sure you get ready to hand over your word. Ryuji? You said Manami didn't have a future and rejected producing her. What the heck are you saying now? <laughs> a top-notch idol needs a decent producer, you know? You're a regular employee and I'm the vice president. You don't have to be super smart to know who the better match is. An idol is in a brand bag. You know that, right? Plus, you have no idea what Manami's gonna say. You seem so devoted to Manami. But you're not going out with her by any chance, are you? What are you saying suddenly? You know well that when an idol and her producer date, the idol is more likely to lose her popularity. No, I feel suspicious. You never know who might spread that kind of rumor. What the? Are you gonna spread such groundless rumors right now? Now you know what's up. We can't have a producer who tries to hit on an idol, so you're fired. That's so ridiculous. That's a violation of labor standards law. I don't want to say this too much, but some staff have seen you to go out and eat. It's a problem when you do that with a popular idol. Well, they'll tell her something reasonable and pay you a good severance pay. After all, they pushed their way through and laid me off. So I ended up leaving the company told me not to contact Manami. They also told me that they'd bring Manami down with a baseless rumor. I feel pathetic. I'm so incompetent. Manami, don't be discouraged. What? Yuto is sick? I... I need to visit him. It's nothing serious, so don't worry about it. He's so useless. I mean, look how busy we are. Recently, he's been busy doing sales for me. Oh, I'm sorry, Yuto. Okay, let's go to the TV station. I'm worried to hear Yuto sick. I want to go visit him, but I have to go to work. So I'm gonna call him later. Either way, I don't feel comfortable having Mr. Takahashi do the job. I don't like him. Manami is standing where she'll be in the camera a lot, right? Huh? Oh, just as usual. Just as usual? Hey, she's the popular idol. I need you to prepare a good position for her. I yes, we can talk with the others at the meeting. 
after all, I decided to make the show according to Mr. Takahashi's request, so I can't hold my head high. He told me I'd never be popular, and he acts arrogantly to the staff like a while ago, so I don't like him. Yuta was kind to the staff, and even when he said his opinions, he was humble. He acted friendly with our staff. I want Yuta to do the job after all. We're gonna go drinking with the director and president. What? It wasn't in the schedule, was it? They just decided on a whim, so just wait here for a second. Wait, wait a minute! He's gone. I always decline these things. Oh, I should call you to while I'm waiting. Man, I didn't imagine this was gonna happen. I was enjoying work. Maybe I should contact other agencies to see if they can hook me up. Oh, somebody's calling me. It's Manami! She's the one who called me so I can pick up, right? Hello? Oh, Yuto, I heard you were sick, but are you okay? Uh, yeah, I guess I was tired. What's up? I had a recording today and talked to Saori. She seemed to be doing good. I'm glad to hear that. It was good that she transferred. By the way, I have to go drinking with people in high positions. I've never had to do this. I'm wondering what this is all about suddenly. That's... dangerous. The director at the TV station she went to today doesn't have a good reputation. I'd made excuses and declined his offers, but I'm sure Yuji would accept it. Are you still at the TV station? I'm gonna go pick you up, so get yourself ready to leave whenever. Yeah, yes, I got it. Are you feeling okay? Uh, don't worry. Picking you up is like nothing. Thank you, Yuta. I'll try to run away from Mr. Takahashi somehow. Please come pick me up quickly. Okay, I need to hurry. When I know something questionable might happen, I can't overlook the situation. I'll be there, Manami. <sighs> I feel better because I got to hear Yuto's voice. He sounded like he was doing good. But is he really okay? But <laughs> I'm happy to see him after such a long time. Manami, are you there? It's almost time. Make sure you have everything ready. Mr. Takahashi, I feel like I have a fever, so I don't think I can go. Ah. Uh can't cancel on me now. Let's go! Wait! I, I don't want to give this to you, so please don't! Don't lock the door! Open it! Just a little bit. Let me get some rest for you a little bit, please. I'll go have a smoke, so get better by the time I come back. <sighs> Mr. Takahashi has been unreasonable just like before. He only sees idols as products, so I've never seen him care for people. I would have quit this agency by now if Yuta hadn't been there for me. I hope Yuta will come back quickly to do my management. Hmm. Oh, Yuta is here. Okay, I gotta get out of here now. Manami, this way! Yuta! Seems like I made it in time. Good. If you're not here, Yuji will give up. I'll tell him that I went home because I felt sick. Manami, where do you think you're going? Oops. You seem fine. Here, let's go drinking. I said I didn't want to go. Don't make an appointment without my permission. I said come. Ryuji, you've heard the rumor about that director, right? If you care for Manami, you shouldn't let her go. Huh, Tanaka! You contacted Manami even though you got fired from us. No, I contacted him. Forget that. You just said you fired him? What in the world is going on? No, that's... Uh... I heard he got sick, but he sounded okay, so I thought it was strange. Now I know what's going on. Shut up! You only need to listen to me! Stop treating idols like an object! Manami's gonna grow more as an idol in the future. I'm not gonna let dirty adults use her up! Crap, you're defying me! You're gonna regret this! Thank you, Yuta! No, I just lost my temper, so it's nothing to thank me about. I'm happy because you got mad for me. I advise her to be careful because you never know what they're gonna do in the future. I only told her basic stuff like not to be alone, but it's better than not doing anything. I doubt you're just gonna back down without doing something. This is what I was thinking, but... Oh, she should have done that here. Hmm? What is it at this hour? A package delivery or something? Yes! Yuta! Uh, what? Manami? Why are you here? <laughs> I quit the agency. What did you say? After that, they begged me to take responsibility for canceling the drinking party, so I broke the contract. I didn't think being an idol for them was right. Sorry, you had to quit because I wasn't good enough. I'll retire after I finish all the work that's already been scheduled. Anyway, you haven't had dinner yet, right? I'll make something. Is curry okay for tonight? I need a little space. Sure, I'm okay with whatever you're in the mood for. I mean, why don't you eat at home? 
It's okay, it's okay. Please wait a minute. Are you here again? What about work? I only had a recording. I was going to do some house cleaning. It's not good for an idol to come to a guy's house. It'll be fine. I'll be quitting after I finish my scheduled work. Okay, I'm coming in. Oh, should I say I'm home? Since that day, Manami did her work by herself. She doesn't have anybody to pick her up and take her home. She comes to my house after work. She got documents to end the contract from the agency. So it's a matter of time before she retires. But it's such a waste to let her retire like this. I'm home! Welcome back. I mean, you're early. I had my last work today. Oh, that's... Yeah, I record all the shows you're in and watch them. You still watch them even though you got fired. I'm your number one fan, you know? I was watching them thinking I might be able to do something in the back. Well, wow, you're not fair, Yuto. Mm hmm? Oh yeah, I'm gonna work as a manager again. What? Really? This president of an agency found out I quit and offered me a position. He asked if I wanted to raise an idol like you at this agency. Uh, I see. And now, since you ended the contract with the agency, why don't you transfer? You had to pay some penalties, so you have to make some money, right? Is that okay? Of course, living up fans' expectation is... What an idol is supposed to do! Okay then, we're gonna greet them tomorrow. Be prepared. Yes, I'm coming with you. I can still be an idol. Manami wasn't active for a while, so people were gossiping about her retirement. But once she announced her surprise transfer, it went so viral that it was on the first page of magazines. Also, the tyrannies of her former agencies was revealed to the related parties. Since I was doing almost all the seals before, it became obvious now. Hey, stop using Manami Aizawa! Huh? What kind of right do you have to say that? She's the most popular idol right now. We've gotta use her! She's dating her manager. Oh, everybody knows about them. They're working together. It's a good thing. Are you gonna use that to threaten me? That's lame, Takahashi! <laughs> good job. You did great today. You must be getting more and more popular. Of course. I've got you by my side. <laughs> I'm just doing my part. No, I'd like you to be by my side forever. Even after I retire. What? What, what did you just say? No, nothing. Man, you're so insensitive. What? This is how I'm gonna fake it for now. I'll keep those words to myself until the time comes when she retires. Yuto Tanaka, a high schooler, was an introvert. I didn't stand out at school, and I didn't have anything special. People say that you get popular three times during your lifetime, but that hasn't come once yet. I don't think it'll ever come either. Takahashi is the opposite of me. Hey, everyone! Have you all been good? Hey, Takahashi! Good work during morning practice! When Takahashi, the ace of the soccer team, comes to school, the classroom really brightens up. Takahashi-kun, you have a match coming up, right? I'll go watch and support! Sounds good! I'll show you a cool shot! Takahashi is good at sports and is confident, and popular amongst girls. But Takahashi has a bad habit. Tanaka, why don't you come watch my game too? Oh, I guess being outside would be tough for you, huh? You're not in a club, so if you stay outside for too long, you might turn into ashes, huh? <laughs> what the heck? He's not a vampire! Takahashi has a habit of making fun of people who he deems lower than him. He uses introverts as a tool to make jokes. That's why he wasn't liked amongst introverts, including myself. During break that day too, Takahashi targeted me. Hey Tanaka, let's play a game where if you lose rock, paper, scissors, you have to confess your love to someone as a punishment. Huh? I really don't like it. Don't say that. You're killing the mood. It's important for you guys to be like this. That being said, rock, paper, scissors. What? Hey. And that momentum, I mindlessly put out a hand. I was the only one with rock, and everyone else was paper. Yes, you lose, Tanaka. Make sure you do the confessing love punishment. Only weaklings don't follow through with what they've once decided. By the way, you're going to confess to Hiragi-san. If she rejects you, ask her who she likes. When I heard those words, I understood the entire situation. Takahashi. He's trying to use me. Takahashi has been interested with Sakura Hiragi, the prettiest girl at school, for quite some time. But Takahashi could be surprisingly shy and doesn't confess his love himself, even if he does get confessed from others. That's why he's trying to find out if Hiragi-san has a boyfriend or if she has someone she likes by making me confess to her. There's no way that my confession would succeed. So the plan is based on my failure. Not like I'll succeed anyways, as Takahashi expects. I'm definitely no match. For the prettiest girl at school, Hiragi-san. If a roly-poly confesses to a swan, there's no way the swan would even be bothered. 
That's why I was chosen as a tool. In the end, I was going to confess to Hiragi-san as a punishment. I called her out to the back of the school during school lunch. Enaka-kun, what's up? You said you had something you wanted to tell me. Uh, yeah. It wasn't something I didn't feel comfortable talking about in the classroom, so first of all, thanks for coming. Looking at her closely, Hiragi-san is super cute. Takahashi was watching me, from a place slightly away. Tanaka will surely be rejected swiftly. The issue is if Hiragi-san has a boyfriend or not. Make sure you ask her about that. What I wanted to tell you was that I've been interested in you from a while ago. I'd like you to be my girlfriend, if you don't mind. I thought I'd be more nervous to confess, but I was able to do it better than I thought. I guess it was because it's not really my choice. Tanaka-kun likes me. I didn't realize at all. Ah, uh, Hiragi-san looks troubled. It must be awkward for her to reject me. I feel so bad. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I see. Thanks for making time during lunch. Wait, what? What? What did you just say now? I said that I'd be down to date you, Tanaka-kun. What? Really? Hiragi-san? With me? Yes. Please be nice to me. Oh, I promised a friend to see her during lunch, so I gotta go. Let's just exchange runs right now. Uh, yeah. After Hiragi-san left, Takahashi jumped out as if he couldn't stand it. Hey, what's going on? This isn't right. Why did your confession succeed? There's no way I'd understand. If anything, I'd want to ask that question. Was Hiragi-san lonely right now, and I didn't care who it was? Hey, Tanaka, can't we say that the person who confessed to Hiragi-san just now was me disguised as you? You're starting to say something crazy. There's no point saying that to me. You had to say that to Hiragi-san. Uh, then it can't be helped. I'm going to give up the prettiest girl at school, Hiragi-san, and switch over to Ijima, who's flashier. She's not as good as Hiragi-san, but her body looks good. Takahashi, you're incredible. It's as if the ulterior motive are walking around in clothes. I also don't intend to date anymore, though. What are you saying? You were able to gain the benefit of dating Hiragi-san thanks to me. Cooperating with me is how you show your respect, huh? Getting too excited that he's using the Kansai dialect even though he's from the Kanto region. Well, I'm not going out with Hiragi-san, so wouldn't confessing be morally wrong? Who cares about morals? Power is in the law. If you say no here, I'll make sure you get hurt. You wouldn't want that, right? What's wrong with this guy? Who raised him? I couldn't go against Takahashi, and I called Ijima-san. Tanaka, what's up? What do you want from me? Ijima-san, thank you for coming. No problems. Don't worry about it. Nanaka Ijima was a gyaru and was nice to everyone. She doesn't discriminate against introverts and extroverts and is friendly to us all. The introverts at school, including myself, liked Ijima-san. We make sure that a bad guy isn't going to trick her from the shadows. She's a bit dull though, so she doesn't realize that people like her. What do you want to talk about bringing me out here? You don't say you want to confess to me. Well, um, it is that. What? I like you, Ijima-san. Could you go out with me? As usual, Takahashi was watching us from a little distance away. He'll be rejected this time properly. Ask Ijima if she has a boyfriend and if she likes someone after that. Ijima probably likes me, but I can't take the action until I'm 100% sure. Oh, okay. So you like me, Tanaka? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me how you feel? Okay, let's go out then. Yeah, I get it. It's hard to just go out with someone who you just sometimes talk to. W wait, did you just say okay? Yep. Hey! There's something weird going on here. How can an introvert like Tanaka get so many yeses while keeping we, the soccer team's ace, on the sideline? Ah, uh, it surprised me. He probably couldn't take it anymore. After hearing that conversation, Takahashi jumped right in front of us. I'm just telling you, but this guy's also dating Hiragi-san. He's trying to date two girls at once. You really want to date such a guy? Takahashi, what is he? He's trying to bring me down along with him. I don't really mind. I like Sakura too. So the three of us could be together. What? I also heard that Takahashi-kun, you were dating seven people at once before. I don't think you're in the place to say something about others. Uh, this is a dream. This is a bad dream. He ran away. Just let him be. Takahashi-kun has been too cocky lately. Right, Sakura? Uh, uh Hiragi-san, with me, what does this mean? Sorry to have kept this from you. We actually knew that you were being forced to confess by Takahashi-kun as a punishment. We heard Takahashi-kun and his group planning this strategy out when we were talking. Takahashi-kun said that he'll conspire as a group and make Tanaka-kun confess as a punishment. Someone who went to the same elementary school as you knew that you always throw a rock first. So everyone got together to do papers first and make you lose. 
Hearing that made me so irritated. That's why Sakura and I strategized together. I see. That's why I said yes to my confessions. Takahashi-kun really looked down on you, Tanaka-kun, so I wanted to set that straight. Tanaka-kun was so surprised to see us yes, though. <laughs> I almost laughed. I see. There's no way Hiragi-san and Ijima-san would fall in love with me. Oh, by the way, I don't mind continuing to date you. I also like Tanaka-kun. What? Why? You're always nice to people, but you don't make a big deal out of it. During the school festival, you stayed late to help me. I thought that was really admirable. You also stayed in the classroom before exams to teach me. You made notes for me so that I could have an easier time understanding too. I was really happy about that. I thought you were nice. I didn't think you two liked me. It's like a dream. After that, I was never treated poorly by Takahashi again. I got closer to Hiragi-san and Ijima-san and often hang out as a trio. People say that you get popular three times during your lifetime, but I feel like that time has come all at once. The day I confess my love for them for real might be close. 